remember this, the different masks that you can get and then you put them on each of those faces and and, and hell happens basically and what's this? do I want to take the book of curses? I feel as though I do yeah and if I examine it I should get a key from it Hurrah! Yes, of course I want to remove the key. Mansion key! Hurrah! Reassuring. I think when I put all the masks there, it'll make all zombies turn into crimson zombies. And when they're crimson zombies, it means that all the zombies that you killed are alive again, and they run fast, and you have no chance. So, good luck. <laughs> well, now I have the mansion key, so that's a start. I do feel as though I can burst through this a little bit quicker. Now I've got the traditional, not traditional controls, but the alternate controls. No longer am I a tank on the battlefield that is Resident Evil. I do need dispatch of this dog though, which means I need to use my gun. Oh, I got six ink ribbons, didn't realize that. No, ah, nah, nah. Ha! Idiot. How's my health? I'm still fine. Good. So now I've got the mansion key. I think I can go through this door and then go through the door on the other side of that door. This is perfect. Now I'm really happy because with this remaster, it's it looks kind of the same as it did on GameCube. There aren't a lot of differences. But then again, I haven't played the GameCube game for a long, long time. They weren't going to radically change things because the GameCube remake of the original was already so different. It, it was a huge jump, and you'll see that if I ever do a video on the differences between the original and this one. I see that character's models have been improved, and there are some things in the video game environment that Whereas before there used to be like a, a small movie file playing over and over again. They're actual items in the game world. Which just adds to the realism a little bit more. Which is nice. You see, you use the mansion key and you go through this door and it's the hallway that, again, if anyone's played it, they know that as soon as you walk past a certain window, dogs will come crashing through and then you run for your life or you try and kill them. Running for your life is more preferable because killing them is a bit hard, as you just saw, killing a dog. So I think I've done my part of killing a dog. Just inspect the Ay ah, la 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 No, they don't come through on this turn, but they do come through on the next turn. There's so many memories flooding back to me now of playing this game when I was a kid. <laughs> and especially on PlayStation when I used to play it on one of my mum's friends playstations and then she'd be like you can't play that game it's too violent <laughs> and when you see the original he'll be like how did she say that about that game but you know it, back in the day that's what it was remove the plug sure yeah that's what I want to do and then I'll see a lovely little zombie at the bottom Mm. Take a picture of that. Is it actually dead, or do I need to kill it with my knife?
No! No! Screw you, zombie. But why can't I pick up the dagger again? It looks in perfectly good condition. Ah, oh, god damn it. See, this is what happens when you carry too many items in Resident Evil. I should have left the shield there. Damn it. Now I don't know what to do. Damn, I can't get that key. Because what have got a key. Ah, it's bringing it all back. The sheer, not terror, but maybe this is a safe room. I hate the fact that I can't just put, I, no, this is not a safe room. <laughs> this is definitely not a safe room. You'll understand when you play the game, but that's not a safe room. An acrid smell. Oh, pictures. Yes, nice. Let's pick up this other ink ribbon, shall we? Now I've got 12 of them. Do I want to take the shotgun? Well, luckily, I can't carry any more items. But no, you do not want to take the shotgun until you've got a, a crappier shotgun that you can put in its place. Or if you're lucky, somebody might come to your rescue because that room is not safe. The walls move. Where's the safe room? I swear there used to be so many safe rooms. You put your items in it. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe this is one. I'll come across one eventually. Or maybe this is the room with the piano. Mm. Oh, no. Ah, oh, da, 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 da. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You're upstairs, mate. Just calm down. Okay, this is a safe room. I remember. Trust me. <sighs> See that relaxing music of where you're you're somewhere no zombie can enter. <laughs> mm hmm Let's open up this, put some stuff in my chest. You've got a plan ahead, you see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my gun is fully loaded. And then I'm gonna put my ammo clip in here. I kinda want to keep my knife. Kind of. I think is mm, this is a decision you have to make. I'm just gonna put all my ink ribbons in there. I know it's a poor decision, a very poor decision, probably. But that's what happens. You make poor decisions, in Resident Evil. So you know, I've got two spaces. Two spaces is great because you have just a bit more room, quite literally. I don't want to take that, and I don't think I want to take this flask. Fuel canteen, no. I don't want that yet. I'm going to be brave. I'm not going to save the game yet, because I can think I can carry on without using an ink ribbon. I think there's even a trophy for not saving the game. Not too sure. I will take this herb, however, because I can use it, and I think I might need to. <laughs> Soon. Um, I don't, yes, I can hear you. I don't know if I want to get that old key first and then use it in the door with a simple mechanism. I think that just takes me outside. Mmm, tricky. I'm just going to go upstairs. Yes, yes, yes. Shh, 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 shh. It's locked. Good. And I think if I go this way, that would just lead me to where the snake would be. Maybe. Into that area. Into like a little library area. And then you've got some stairs. I could be making all of this up. But... Huh. 
How did they live in this house? There's so many... <laughs> There's, so... There's just so many... I don't know what the word is for it. Actually, I will get that herb. That makes sense. And yes, there is a zombie here. Or just run, 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 run. No, I... Ah! Gotta wait. I'm not gonna use my ammo on you. I think I can use the shield soon. <sighs> Find out. Ah. Uh, no. I think the wooden mount is for... Piano. Oh, no! No, I didn't know you could break through doors. No, don't, please. But, oh, you asshole. You asshole. Fine, I'll kill you. Is that what you want? What you're getting? My tactic, right? Alright, oh, he's already dead. Cool. I think, yeah, he's dead. Can I go in this room yet? No. <laughs> that is a is a long way off that room. And that's locked as well. God damn it. I think I made a mistake. Because I think I should have picked up that key in the bathroom. And I should have unlocked that grey door which used a simple mechanism. And now I'm gonna have to head back there. And as I head back there, the window's gonna break, the dog's gonna come through. And I'm just going to make my life harder. And this is why you have to use your head, ladies and gentlemen, in Resident Evil. Now, you don't use your head in Resident Evil. You use your gun multiple times. But I'm going to run. Just run. Because I don't want to push that. Maybe I do. And I'll start pushing it and the dog will come through, won't it? No. Oh, oh, oh. Dagger. That's always handy to have. I don't know if I want it quite yet, though. No, I'm alright. I'm alright. It's only until I do something and then I'll have to come back. Oh, God. Yeah, so go in here. Go in there. I think what will be interesting is when player... <clears throat> I think what will be interesting is when Freya plays this game, because Freya, who's on the, on the team, um, it was her first time playing Resident Evil last night, which was Resident Evil Revelations 2, which of course is quite a modern game, a modern iteration in the series. And so when I get her to play this, and I give her the original controls, we'll see how much she, <laughs> we'll see how much she likes it then. I think she'll get really frustrated. Which makes it all the better. Mm hmm. See, I'm confused because I'm pretty sure this leads you outside. Yeah, it does. I see, like, the, the butterflies or moths around that lamp. That used to be, like, a small. Uh, what you call it? Oh, there's a dog there. Um, it used to be a small movie file that used to be played all over and over again, but now it, they are actual, well, they're not real butterflies, or moths, rather, but they're actual items, polygons, floating around. No, shush, 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 shush. See, I don't want any of this stuff. I don't want any of this stuff. Where do I go? Where do I put the shield? Think, think, think. Where do you put the shield? Where do you put it? And this is when. This is it. Probably. Probably when dogs come out. Yes! I know, mate. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, 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 fuck off. And just imagine playing this game when it originally came out in the late 90s, when there weren't really any guides out there. You couldn't go on the internet and just be like, 
where do I go next? Because you couldn't. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't the way it went. So yeah, you're pretty much screwed. To be fair, and I can't imagine how I would have ever completed this game when I was younger. Can't imagine one bit. And even now, I mean, of course, you can go on the net and get a guide and just follow that. But it's not as fun. You can just try and use your brain before it gets eaten. <laughs> and please, Capcom, if you're watching this, please, please make the seventh entry in the Resident Evil franchise. It's scary. No, I thought, oh, damn, I don't have a dagger, do I? So you get into the rhythm of things soon enough. I still have no idea, and I can't remember why I put that shield. Cause I'm pa ha ha You silly, you cheeky little monkey. It's locked. Old fashioned kick ah, blah blah Whoa oh, what? I thought I could I thought I could do something. Yeah, come down this way, mate, and I'll just run around the pillar. Sound like a good idea? Yeah, I think it sounds like a good idea. There we go. Oh, screw all of you. Oh, I unlocked it. Great. <laughs> and also, this was a time when zombies were slow, but they were scary. Ah, back here. Come on, then. Let's put this shield back. It made a satisfying click, meaning that surely I think now I will meet some of my team back in this hallway. No. Oh God. Ah oh, no, <laughs> I don't know where to go or what to do, and I'm sure it's something very simple. <sighs> I'm sure it's something very simple. Well, I think that's it for the Start Replay Plays Resident Evil, the remaster. It's out now on PlayStation, digitally, on PSN, on Xbox Live, and if I'm not mistaken, I think PC, but I could be wrong about that. It was fifteen ninety nine, so it's not too bad. You could be paying a lot more for this game, seeing it's such a classic. And if you do want me to proceed, if you want me to try and complete this game, please like it, give me a comment, Give me some support and I will record another episode and hopefully we can get through this together. Of course you can follow us on Twitter at Start Replay. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Start Replay Media. As always, find us on YouTube where you're watching this probably at youtube.com forward slash The Happy Campers. Happy with an I, not a Y. Don't ask me why. And head to startreplay.com for some mainly consistent gaming news, reviews, coverage, and other stuff. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you on another spooky episode in the near future. Where do I go?